Layla found herself on the street in grade eight after conflict at home caused her to flee. When I was on the streets, I, I think I went to school about three times the whole time I was out there and I had no social life. It was just stay where I was, was where I was or like I didn't know what was going to happen. For four months, she was in survival mode. Going to my friend's house, getting cops cold on me, then having to find somewhere else, going to shelters, standing outside. According to new statistics from Shelter Taz, on any given day, 2,100 people have been receiving support from homelessness services. More than 500 of them were young people, aged between 15 and 24. Kate Jackson uses art to heal. She experienced homelessness as a young person and it's had a lasting impact on her life. That fear and living uh, with a threat of not being able to provide myself and my children with a safe place really impacted on my job and it led to me having to give my job up. Although census figures on homelessness won't be released until next year, something has already become apparent. Advocates say COVID and the housing crisis have made the issue worse and they're worried about an emerging group of people. So what we're seeing are a group of young people that are not necessarily prioritised for social housing, but they also can't break into the rental market because they can't afford it. So we do need to see an increase in social housing allocation to those individuals to reduce homelessness in our community. The Tasmanian government has committed to building 10,000 homes over 10 years, has dedicated youth facilities and says it's building more. Layla has the right help now in her caseworker Heidi, but she's one of the lucky ones. <laughs> We've got a friend down at the supermarket who's homeless and we help him out um, every time we go down there, every day he's there and he lives up in a tent in South Hobart and bloody, he's freezing at the moment. She's now living with her sister and taking life a day at a time. Alexandra Alvaro, ABC News.